My lord, I am preparing for my assault on Taris. Excellent. Your mission on Taris is to take down the Republic's entire strategic high command. The War Trust, the four generals who implement the bulk of the Republic military forces' strategic planning, are all on Terrace as we speak. Normally, they're never together in one place. This is an incredible opportunity. Tell me about these generals. The War Trust has stretched the Republic's resources and fought us to a standstill time and again. They are master strategists. Generals Ferrer, Mentz, Durant, and Frilka should not be taken lightly. Each will likely be protected by his own elite guard, and they have all the Republic forces on Terrace at their disposal. Danger only makes things more fun. Do not approach this endeavor frivolously, Apprentice. Your task on Terrace represents the larger scale assault of your career. Moth Hurden leads the Imperial forces on the planet. He will provide whatever resources he can. Shuttle to the surface and seek him out immediately. Moff heard in the Sith is here. What's that, Lieutenant? Oh, I didn't see you come in. You must be the Sith Darth Barris sent. Welcome to Taris. Try to pay attention to your surroundings. Had I been an enemy, you'd be dead. I have high confidence that my command center is well garrisoned. But I heed your point. I have never had cause to assist Darth Barris before. But I have long been an admirer of his work. And yours, of course. I doubt he came all this way to be fawned on. Of course. May I introduce Lieutenant Pierce, on loan from one of our notorious Black Ops divisions. He is hands down my finest officer. I give you exclusive reign of him while you're on Taris, which I trust will accommodate your every need. All my needs met by a single trooper. Your assistance is underwhelming, Herden. Pierce is beyond capable. And my troops are stretched thin, but I'll try to make more available to you soon. I'll get right on that, and let you get acquainted. Heard we're going after the War Trust. Did some homework. If that is the mission, I'm fully prepped. Bring me up to speed. All four of the War Trust generals are here on Taris, which means something big. But they never show their faces. Got my hands on a Republic scout, leaned on him, hard. He was setting up supply routes for General Frelka, the War Trust junior member. I'd like to interrogate this scout personally. He's dead. Sorry. 
Next time, leave interrogation to the professionals. Noted. Been scoping the area the scout described. Several heavily armed Republic supply caravans run along carefully staggered routes. A couple of dozen soldiers could hit the caravans, pull their transponders, triangulate their destination with the equipment here. Moff Hurden can't spare the manpower, though. I wouldn't trust Hurden to tie my boots. Then it's up to us. You hit those caravans, I'll play Tech Monkey. Here are the coordinates. Caravans run daily, but they vary the timing. I'm sure you'll come upon them eventually. Hit enough and snag the transponders. I'll figure out where they're going. Should zero in on General Froker. Transmitting the Republic Caravan transponder frequencies now. Give me a minute to retrace their routes, see where they converge. By all means, go ahead. My lord, triangulation's complete. Only one place these caravans could be going. Transmitting coordinates has to be General Froker's location. Tell me anything else important about the area. 
We beat the reps out of there a few months back. All we found were rank caves the pirates used to use. If they snuck back in, they're after something. Good hunting. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You got all the soldiers. We ain't fighters, just miners. Contracted miners at that. Where is General Frelka? He's the overseer, but he ain't exactly hands-on. Hasn't been by in weeks. You gonna kill him? Why are you so curious? Hey, not looking for any trouble here. The Republic don't pay me enough to get in your way. Believe me. If I hit the silent alarm, Frelk will come with his personal guard. If that's really what you want, I can bring him here. Hit the alarm. You got it. There, it's done. The general's been summoned. Now, please, just let us live. You've used up your usefulness. No! Enemy sighted. Captain, attack pattern 077. Men, fan out! 077! Be ready to engage! Wait for the General's order! You'll find my elite troopers much more formidable than the guards and miners you massacred here, Sith. I am General Alexis Frelka of the Republic's Strategic High Command. Your incursion here violates the spirit of the Treaty of Coruscant. We have you dead to rights. Surrender. I have no reverence for the Treaty of Coruscant. That explains your clumsiness coming here. It's unfortunate you've discovered our plans, but no matter. The wheels are already in motion. Our new technology will deliver armed superiority to the Republic, and I'm ready to give my life to defend this installation. We are in accordance. I'm ready to take your life. Men, fight to the death! Ah! 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 
your nerves to the slaughter. Lieutenant Pierce, I know where to find General Minst. I'm heading there now. Great news. I've got some too. Scout report. The Battalion of War Trust General Durant is on the move. Odds are he's fortifying his position. Some of my Black Ops pals are back. We could have discreetly followed the Battalion to find the General. What do you mean, could have? Morverden sent a platoon instead grounded me and the boys. His forces are engaging Durant as we speak. He's killing our chances. Summon Hurden into this conversation. I'll address him. My lord. Ah, there you are. I see Lieutenant Pierce has already hailed you. I was hoping to do it myself. Can I assume the Lieutenant has updated you? Thanks to me, General Durant's personal battalion will not be joining him, wherever he is. Engaging the General's army was a rash and foolish move. Now withdraw and allow Lieutenant Pierce and his men to scour for General Durant's headquarters. Understood? Yes. Well, of course. I'll make it so immediately. My lord. We'll get something on Durant. I swear it. Good luck with General Minst. destruction on this scale before. It's almost beautiful. Like sculpture. Displaying all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed.
Taste your blood! <sighs> Gigi Quoting no Lia Makachisa. Ava da Chuba Koji Dwanti Nitota Ninga Ninga K. Trip Nimoni Tanu Alelu Nan Quetuta. Start talking. Eda iki tutuku lo jarat roda mana mana. Saya tupi nu avatikuna chido niki toki. How can I be sure you're telling the truth? Ye imu puke. Eda iki tutuku lo jarat roda mana mana. Staluka uba ziki danti ruba jatanichi. The power reactor will self-destruct in five minutes. So, tenguampa la hagua kilia je koska pagota palco. Tell me, and we'll see how I feel. Ato, jilis kachanaga wani chika kospa ini kokate. Jiho lokto chobot i kafsto andale. The power reactor will self-destruct in four and a half minutes. Mi buna wa tuipi de bafra wana wanga. It's already too late for you. Shani no solo. self-destruct in 60 seconds. Vault code sequence initiated. Terrific. If that imposter was wrong about how much time this will take, we'll be blown to bits. Danger only makes things more fun. The reactor core will self-destruct in 45 seconds. Men, the enemy is accessing the fallout vault. Defeat the Sith and we can weather the explosion inside the vault. At least we won't be twiddling our thumbs. More fools to the slaughter. Yeah. 
I love the thrill of killing. Hope that wasn't our last. The reactor core will self-destruct in 10 seconds. If there's something you want to say before the end, now's the time. I feel we've only just scratched the surface of our potential together. Vault code sequence complete. The reactor core will self-destruct in five seconds. Vault lock disarming. Four. Vault door airlock releasing. Three. Vault open. Are you inside? Our enemies will pay for this. Tipo na po na manchi kabok nun ni Slimo. Katulia da po ta 21 ki Slimo pa yung tachanga. You must be a joy to work for. Na piska ku. Paliya pitiye po tenya go. Ni ompi but malia pedwana ni op ni bobo chek chupa goma. Chiliska chanaga ima che choran chike. Guess killing you will have to be my consolation. Is here. Track General Durant's battalion. Led by Black Op troopers on a recon run. Found Durant's hideout. He's got a full battalion guarding the compound. They're establishing a perimeter of electronic defenses around the general. Defense systems will not repel me. Good to hear. My Black Ops troopers and I were able to slip past the perimeter before they got the systems online. But we were spotted. We're taking fire. Outnumbered. Should be able to hold them off long enough for you to break through, but that's it. I will not accept failure, Lieutenant. We'll do what we can. Knock out those defense systems. We'll hold the position for you. Or worst case, our bodies will slow down their charge. Proud to have served, my lord. Pierce out. all authorized destinations.
Pierce here. They flushed us out. We're on the move. Lost a third of my men, but we're hitting them ten to one. Still too many. I'll try to rally the men, hold the enemy off as long as I can. Pierce out. My lord, the enemy is regrouping. I'm down to three men against about 300. Hope we could take out a whole battalion, but it looks like we'll come up short. When you see him, tell Durant. My lord, I spent all my ammunition and I'm down to my last med pack. But Durant's battalion is down. Ah. So is the rest of my unit. Never seen men stare death in the face and fight more bravely. They did their job. Now the enemy is mine. General Durant and his guards have retreated inside the compound. Proud I ushered you to the doorstep. General Durant, I've come for you. I'm not hiding anymore, Sith. We delayed you long enough to achieve success. We've stabilized the sea and tide cells. Now, the Republic has a new power source that gives us the advantage in this war. Tell me about these sea and tide cells. Imagine a common blaster rifle with the power of a turbo laser battery. Upon returning to Terrace after the Empire bombarded it, we discovered that all the flash fire deaths created a strange residue. Once radiated and solidified, it turned into a highly volatile but powerful energy source. Trouble was, we couldn't stabilize it. Until now. Sounds like a lot of trouble. We have risked much, and lost much. This blaster is the prototype, powered by the smallest sea and tide battery. You're about to see just how lethal it is. Everyone, attack. You will not defeat General Ferrer. You wasted your life. I will crush everything you have built. Then I die, a broken man, for the Republic. <sighs> Ah! <laughs> 
I'm in a medevac transport. Arriving back at base. Needed to tap you. Darth Barris has made contact. I updated him. I have him and Moff Hurden on hollow for you. Patch them through immediately. Will do. Apprentice, your progress has been conveyed to me, and I've been briefed on the search for General Ferrer. Moff Hurden informs me that Ferrer has relocated all of the Republic's forces on Terrace to protect his command center at the Republic's stronghold. Guess I know where I'm going next. First, you must convene with me. This assault will take all our firepower. I've summoned your crew to the base. They will all be utilized. And I've informed Moff Hurden that you are commandeering the entirety of his forces. Yes, right. They are yours to command, my lord. I have longed to lead an army. You will now sink your teeth into full-scale war. Rendezvous with Hurden, Pierce, and your crew at the Imperial base. There is much planning to do. Be swift. service, my lord. I am here. Let the war begin. Yes, time is of the essence. Lieutenant Pierce, Captain Quinn, bring my apprentice up to speed on our enemy's activity. Yes, my lord. It's a fairly complex situation. General Ferrer, the War Trust's most senior member, is garrisoned in a fortified wing of the Republic's main base. He's got a huge army protecting him. More reinforcements on the way. We're outnumbered eight to one. My lord, the lieutenant's statistics are inexact, but the general thrust is sound. The numbers favor Ferrer, but there are ways around that. If you have a plan, let's hear it. Now, to maximize our chances, we must coordinate three simultaneous strikes. One will destroy the base's power station. Another will sabotage its spaceport force field to thwart any reinforcements, and the last will force the conscripted regiments of Ferrer's army to flee. Who knew this would be so complicated? War is never simple, Apprentice. Quinn will coordinate from the base, and you will lead the frontline offensive. Beyond that, decide how to assign your men. Goodbye. I'm the best choice for frontline work. You need a soldier. I disagree. If the frontal assault isn't handled correctly, your route into the command center will be clogged with run-over battlefield soldiers. In my opinion, Jaysa should join you. She can use her power to see into the hearts of the enemy and identify the insecure ranks. I want Jaysa's insights on the battlefield. Very good, my lord. 
That leaves Pierce and Vet to handle the power station demolition and the spaceport sabotage. If the traps and mines that protect the power station aren't circumvented in time, you'll be under constant turret fire inside the Republic base. Vet, clear the way so the power station can be destroyed. Child play. Unless Pierce can lock the spaceport force field in time, you'll face Ferrer's reinforcements inside the base. Don't worry about me, Captain. Assaults have been assigned, my lord. Once you've cleared the way on the front, invade General Ferrer's command center at will. Let's get this war started. My lord, any final words for the troops? Today, we fight as one. I believe in every one of you. Join me in victory. If that doesn't inspire, nothing will. Good luck, my lord. I'll be coordinating the attacks via Hollow. Don't worry, Captain. The real soldiers have got this one. All alert. The enemy is sighted. <laughs> Sith, you are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jaser, use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. My pleasure, Master. Most of these dogs are brimming with strength and conviction. I sense hate and a willingness to die for the Republic. Ah, uh, not so fast. There! An entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. They will definitely run if singled out. Lead the assault against the conscripts, Jaser. Make them flee. Thank you, Master. Men, attack with me! Scripted scum. We still have numbers. All attack. <laughs> Thank you. 
My lord, I have updates from the other fronts. I'm pleased to report that the Republic power station has been destroyed. Vet went through their traps like they were infant toys. From her report, I doubt anyone else could have achieved it. You were right in assigning her to strike the power station. I know what I'm doing, Quinn. That is abundantly clear. With the base security systems down, you'll endure no automatic turret fire on our way to Ferrer's command center. On the other front, Lieutenant Pierce was able to sabotage and lock the Republic spaceport force field controls. Admit it. A part of you was hoping Pierce would fail. I would never allow my personal feelings to color my hope for victory. Now... When Ferrer's reinforcements land inside the base, they'll be trapped behind the force field and unable to join the fight. Still, the General's elite guard clogs the way to the command center. They are quite formidable. Danger only makes things more fun. Then this may be the most fun you've had yet. There's no time to lose, my lord. Ferrer's command center awaits. Good luck. It's time for you to join the rest of the War Trust, Ferrer. Quite the contrary. After you took down my fellows, I knew my only chance was to delay you. And my gambit has paid off. I bought enough time for my technicians to solve how to stabilize Seantide cells of any kind. The future is upon us, Sith, and you have the privilege of bearing witness. Enemy sighted. Weapon systems targeted and locked. You're quite a showman, Ferrer. This is nothing. Sea and Tide technology increases the strength of whatever it powers tenfold. The Republic fleet and arsenal will make your weapons obsolete. The Empire will have no choice but to surrender, which you should do now. How about I attack instead? Engaging all weapons. You are beaten, General. I can't believe it. All this work. All this... Death! For naught! I wish I could sit around and discuss where I went wrong. But a good leader always has an exit strategy. Not so fast, General. I thought you might try to run. This is the end for you, Ferrer. I surrender. I expect to be afforded the treatment promised to prisoners in the Treaty of Coruscant. You're not my prisoner. You're my victim. <laughs> nice to see generals scream when they die, just like anyone else. Congratulations on the success of your mission. Taking down the War Trust is an incredible victory. It is clear you are the future of the Empire, and I hope you will count me among your closest allies. You are insignificant to me. Ah, yes. Well, perhaps this will change your opinion of me. As a show of support, I place Lieutenant Pierce under your command. 
He will be invaluable in your domination of the galaxy. Works for me. Done what I can here on Taris. Glad you're willing to let me go, Herden. Makes no difference to me. Just another mouth to feed. I'll prove my worth to you, my lord. Lieutenant Fallin, I will brief you on how things work here when we are back on the ship. Can't wait. Apprentice, the Ward Trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master Darth Vengeance set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. The plan was secret. Do you think there's a leak? Information is a funny thing. It trickles in unexpected ways. Leave those concerns to me. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moff Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. <laughs> 